Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're playing classical and we're going to be doing Dvorak's theme from the New World Symphony. Okay, so we'll be playing it on a C harmonica. So if you want to play along with the record itself or with an orchestra, you would, I believe, need a C sharp or D flat, depending on what you call it, harmonica, which is just a half step up from the C harmonica, but it's not that common a one, so we'll be playing on a C harmonica. It's a great one for beginners, this. There's no bends in it, there's no overblows. It's just about getting the single notes nice and clean, and it's not too fast as well. So we can play it full speed in the lesson without having to play it particularly fast. We've only got seven lines to get through. We'll go through each one in turn. Line A sounds something like this. Okay, so we've got five blow and then six blow twice. And then we've got five draw, four draw, four blow. Four draw, five blow, six blow, five blow, four draw. I've kind of split it into three parts. So the first three notes would be the first part of the line. So that five blow is held uh, slightly longer. Ba, ba, bum. And then similar rhythm for the next part. Five, four draw, four blow. So the five blow is held longer. And then we have. And this is about as fast as it would be actually. Um, different versions of it performed in different ways, slightly different speeds, but it's generally sort of lilting, quite slow melody. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. It could even be slower than that. So you don't have to worry about the speed with this. It's all about the clarity of these notes. Really good practice for getting good, clean notes. So that first line again, I'll just play that for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. So line B um, sounds like this. So you'll notice the first two parts of line B are the same as the first two parts of line A. So you don't need to worry about any different tab for those. It's just those last five notes that change. So we've got four, uh, four draw, five blow, four draw, four blow, four blow. Okay, so that last phrase is ba, 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 ba. As I was playing those, I noticed that I was kind of articulating the notes slightly. I was I was ta, ta, or da, da. Little articulations, choosing a consonant to make the note more clear and distinct from the one before. So that's something you could do as part of this. That's up to you how smooth you want them to sound. So line B again, I'll just play it for you in full. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. So that's lines A and B. Let's do A and B together, and then we'll move on to C and D, which are really nice melodies. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Great. So line C, we're moving a bit further up the harmonica here. I should say, by the way, we're playing it an octave above where it would be played in the orchestra. So as I said, you would need a C sharp to play along with an, with an orchestra if you get it up on YouTube or whatever. But 
you would then be an octave above the orchestra. So if you really wanted to play it in the exact same way as the orchestra, you'd actually need a low C sharp harmonica. I haven't got one, they are available, but they do sound nice on low tuned harmonicas. So I've got a low F here, which isn't as low as a C sharp, but it does sound nice and mellow. And then if you can tongue slap, and so on. Uh, anyway, sidetrack there, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what you could do if you were trying to play along with the original. Okay, so line C. Lovely little melody this, and it's six draw, seven blow, seven blow, and then seven draw, six blow, six draw, six draw, seven blow, seven draw, six blow, six draw. And again, I've sort of split this into three, so the first three notes. Ba, 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 six draw, seven blow, seven blow. And then, Seven draw, six blow, six draw. Du, du, du. And then. Six draw, seven blow, seven draw, six blow, six draw. Okay. And that last part, I kind of swung that a little bit, but I shouldn't have. It's a bit straighter than that. It's a bit more. I think it's uh, a bit more on the beat. Da, 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 da. Again, different versions would alter slightly, but there is the score to, re to refer to. Okay, line D is just the same, it's just a repeat of line C. Okay, so let's have a go at playing that twice in a row. I'll count us in, so we're going to go C, D. One, two, three, four. Okay, lovely, lovely. So we've got three lines to go. Now, you'll notice that line E is actually just the same as line A. Okay, so we're going back now to Okay, but line F is different. It's not it's not as if we're going back to A and B. F is actually a slightly different line, okay? So the first uh, three notes are the same as lines A and B, but it does get different after that. So line F would go five blow, six blow, six blow, then seven blow, eight draw, eight blow, eight draw, seven blow, eight draw, six draw, seven blow. Okay, so we've got Fine, and then okay, ba ba ba, seven blow, eight draw, eight blow, and then lovely melody, eight draw, seven blow, eight draw, six draw, seven blow. Okay, I'll play that again. And then we would need to play that again anyway, because we're going to do it in line G. But first off, we're going to play line F in full. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, I uh, fluffed the uh, second part of that a little bit there. Line G, just to finish off, is just that last part of line F, again, twice, with one little change. 
So the first time we've got which is just the same as line F. And then the second one, the very last one, you'll see I've put three little dots after uh, the eight draw. That's because that's held longer. So it's kind of held for three beats. Ba, 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 ba. So that's the big finish of this section, if you like. So that would be line G. Okay, so let's go from the start. Let's try playing each of these lines all together. We're going to go from A to G. I'm going to try and play it not too fast. It's very easy to count this in too fast. One, two, three. Okay, oh, timing was all off all over the place there. Um, but you get the general gist of the tab. So, lovely little piece to play on the harmonica. As I say, the tongue slaps or playing it on a lower key harmonica really going to add to this as well. But on your C harmonica, you'll be absolutely fine with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to be back with something else next week. I'm not quite sure what yet. If you've enjoyed the video, please share it. Please subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Also, if you've got requests for lessons, songs you'd like to learn, please put them in the comments or email me contact at learntheharmonica.com. See you again soon. Cheers.